What's up guys, Jeff here. Today I want to talk to you about why you're stretching, foam rolling, and getting massages all the wrong way. Now let me first start by saying I'm not against any of these things. I love foam rolling, I love stretching, and I love massage. However, how most people are doing it is actually hurting you worse. Alright, so first let me kind of explain some things. Most often than not, when you go get a massage or you, you do your foam rolling or even your stretching, most of the work that you do is on the posterior side of your body. That means the back side. That means you're working your shoulders, your lats, you know, your low back, your upper back, your glutes, your hamstrings, all these things. So you're stretching your hamstrings, you're foam rolling your, you know, your glutes, um, your, your typically... Um, you're typically getting massage on your upper back. So all these things are great. However, they're actually hindering you and not fixing the problem. So let me again go back one more step. Why these are hurting you and not helping you is because you're massaging and releasing the wrong parts of your body. So let me kind of explain something to you. If you sit down all day long, you're going to be tight in your shoulders. You're going to have a you're going to have a kyphotic nature. Your hips are probably going to be tight. Your quads are going to be tight. And what it's going to do is pull your shoulders, pull your hips, and basically pull you out of a natural good position. Because of this, you're in a in a uh, tight. It feels tight in your backside. So by massaging and rolling and doing all these things, it feels great, right? But it feels great just like scratching a, sc a scab. It feels great, but doesn't help, right? So what we're doing here is actually scratching a scab. So let me explain one more thing. More often than not, your body is very similar to this, this bag here. We start in good nature and whatnot, but as we go into these more, more um, bad postures, we actually take the bag, and it, it started in a good natural position, and we start to just lightly stretch this bag, right? So I'm not trying to rip the bag, but I am changing the form of this bag, right? So if I keep constant pressure, I can get an unnatural position out of this bag, okay? So kind of look at it. This one's a pretty good bag, but if we, if we actually look at the bag, it, it became pulled, right? So what it's called is creeping. The muscles are creeping into these long, shitty positions on the backside. Well, because this is happening, it feels really great to massage them because they're tight. However, they're not actually tight. They don't need to be loosened, right? However, let me stop real quick. They do need to be worked on. And when I say worked on, if we were again to go back to this bag, if I were to just do some light foam rolling just to get some stimulation and uh, some, some blood flow to this area, if it was our muscles, that's good enough. What we need to be spending our time with is working the front portions of our shoulders and pecs, working our hip flexors and quads, and all these areas that are tight and, and, and uh, just pulling the rest of our body into these bad positions. So when you're getting massage, all you're doing is allowing more looseness in the back side of your body and not taking any tension off the front. So now you're just continuing to put yourself into these bad postures and bad positions because as I stretch the back portion, it allows more creeping to go into that forward position. So again, don't take this as a discredit towards any of these things. What you need to be doing, though, is doing some sort of muscle work to the backside of your body, basically just to get blood flow and activation. But you really need to be getting massages and stretching and foam rolling and spending some real time in the front portion of your body, meaning your, your shoulder capsule, your pecs, your chest, uh, your hip flexors and quads. By doing that, you're going to help get yourself into a better posture stop the forward decline of bad posture and help kind of put yourself back into a good place where you can move and feel good without injuries and limitations, all while still seeing better performance and overall feeling a lot better. Because remember, by doing a lot of backside work, foam rolling, massaging, stretching of the hamstrings, glutes, low back, upper back, all you're doing is continuing to allow yourself to go into more bad posture and not actually helping you.
All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'll make sure to answer them. Otherwise, start working on your chest, shoulders, hips, quads, front portion of your body more, and do less stretching, mobility, less stretching, massaging, and rolling at your backside. All right, guys. Take care.